This is like one of the best supplements of all time. Not only is it going to work for you, it's going to work probably better than you expect. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a review on one of my favorite supplements of all time, and that is magnesium. Magnesium does so much for the body. You can go ahead and Google magnesium benefits, and I think most people are actually deficient in magnesium, so I will be going over some of the positive effects that they claim online. I will be going over which foods contain magnesium. I mean, you could just Google this right now, but I will be going over it. And then I'll jump into why I think magnesium is so effective and so great. So the, the two Two things that I use magnesium for are number one, relaxation, helping with sleep and helping with anti-anxiety effects. Magnesium is absolutely mind blowing how much it helps you go to sleep, how much it relaxes you, how much it can cut anxiety in half or take it away. I'm somebody who, when I get anxiety, I get really ramped up. I almost think little to nothing can calm me down, but magnesium is literally one of those supplements that I would not be surprised one bit if my anxiety was cut in half or completely gone, even in the worst situations. And my friend has this story when he was younger, I don't know how old, and he was just having massive anxiety. He goes to his dad, his dad's like, oh, why don't you have some magnesium? So he gives my friend some magnesium and my friend in a panic anxiety ends up going to sleep, has a great sleep, and pretty much takes magnesium still to this day. So it's fantastic for aiding sleep and it's fantastic for anti-anxiety relief. If you're somebody who has problems with both those, I recommend buying it right now. I recommend buying it no matter what because it's just a great supplement overall. And the other thing that I like it for is constipation relief. It actually puts a lot more water in your bowels. So it's a very natural, effective, kind of like laxative, but it doesn't really hurt your stomach. It just makes things easier to pass through your stomach, which I really appreciate. If you're somebody who has constipation or you know somebody that has constipation, this is literally one of those secret supplements that people don't know works, don't really think about all the time, but paired with like a colon cleanse, it is fantastic and it's super natural too. Later on, I'll be describing which kinds of magnesium are better for constipation. And if you're somebody who's like, I don't want that, I don't want those issues, there are types of magnesium that are more gentle on the stomach and have a less chance of causing that effect. So you can kind of pick which kind is the best for you. I think magnesium does tons more than this, but online it says that it purifies the blood, it stimulates brain function and nerve impulses. It helps with depression, anxiety, and fibromyalgia. It's found in beans, nuts, bananas, avocados, and dark chocolate. Now it's probably in a couple other things as well, but those are kind of like the main ones. Also, if you go and buy pretty much any nootropic blend, it will contain some magnesium. Most of the time they don't put very much and I think it's so you don't get drowsy or you don't have like a really big bowel movement. Unless like my guess, most of the time they put magnesium for like 100 to 200 milligrams, not a very high dose in supplements, but if you wanted to get some electrolytes, you would get a pretty good dose of magnesium, and I do like electrolyte blends. Oh, and then another way to get magnesium, if you live by the coast, is actually going in the ocean. I think magnesium absorbs best through the skin, so it's actually one of the most effective ways to get magnesium, and wow, what a cocktail going and being out in the ocean is. Like, you go and get the sunlight, which is really healthy for you, you're grounding with the earth, which is really healthy for you. I've never done a video on it, but the effects of grounding are just monumental. And then on top of that, you're getting some magnesium absorbed through the ocean. You're just feeling great at the beach. All right, guys, if I were to go over any negatives to have with the supplement, I don't have any. They say online, if you take a huge dose of magnesium, you may throw off the other levels of electrolytes. So it's kind of good to not take too much of it, but I've taken lots of this stuff. I have never reached any sort of issues with it. I actually think we're deficient in magnesium. I think some of the other electrolytes I get already through food, but if you were worried about taking too much magnesium and throwing off the other electrolytes, you could just go ahead and take an electrolyte blend or electrolyte blend plus magnesium. So that way you're getting like a very high dose. Cause again, in most electrolyte blends, they don't put too much magnesium, just enough to kind of keep your levels healthy. And then also I'll try to put it on screen if I could find anything about it, but they say that magnesium kind of has a synergistic effect with D3 and zinc. Uh, I've looked that up countless times. It not recently, but it seems to have some synergistic effect to where you want to take both or like one depletes the other or something. So 
If I find something about that, I'll put it on screen, but there's tons of blends that contain calcium, magnesium, zinc, plus D3. So there are some benefits to taking it alongside maybe electrolytes or D3 and zinc. So as far as the different kinds of magnesium, personally, I use magnesium citrate. Now magnesium citrate is supposed to be really effective, but it's the most notorious form of magnesium to help with constipation. That's why I take it. That's why I take it personally. But again, if you're trying to avoid the extra bowel movements, I totally get you. Definitely don't go with mag citrate then. All right, magnesium lactate, apparently it is gentle on the stomach. You can also get magnesium blends that have like five, six, seven kinds of magnesium. So there is that option as well. It says magnesium glycinate is best for sleep. When I think of high quality magnesium, I think of magnesium glycinate, but because I have the constipation issues, I actually prefer magnesium citrate. All right, magnesium L-thorinate is supposed to help brain health. Well, I think all forms of magnesium are, but this form is a little bit stronger in the brain health region. Magnesium malate is supposed to be really good for fibromyalgia and CFS. I don't know what CFS is, unfortunately. And then magnesium oxide is supposed to be one of the cheapest, most inefficient forms of magnesium. It's used in a lot of multivitamins and other supplements like that. I usually avoid oxide because I had heard a while back that it had low absorption and reading it online, it also said it had low absorption. So try to avoid magnesium oxide if you can. Personally, I would go between mag citrate and magnesium glycinate. Um, citrate if you want more constipation relief. If you don't want that, I would go with magnesium glycinate. If you're somebody who has anxiety, if you're somebody who has constipation issues, this is like one of the best supplements of all time. Like not only is it going to work for you, but it's going to work probably better than you expect. And it's absolutely mind blowing. Like I wanna see somebody with a lot of anxiety take, you know, gram, gram and a half of magnesium and tell me that anxiety is, is 10 out of 10 still after an hour or two. It is amazing for anxiety. It's amazing for sleep. It's all natural, does everything else for your body as well. I absolutely love magnesium. It's one of my favorite supplements and I have no idea why I haven't reviewed it till now. Anyways guys, have you tried magnesium? What are your favorite natural supplements to help with sleep and anxiety? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.